I'm a Utah native. I was born and raised here and I've lived here my entire life. However, if I was moving to the area, I might not even know where to start with that process. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what I would do knowing what I know about Utah. What's up guys, my name is Cody Steck, your favorite Utah realtor. We're talking about how I would make the move to Utah if I didn't know anything about the state, if I didn't know where to start, and I didn't know where I was going or what I was actually looking for. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what you need to know, how you should start your research, how you should start your trips out here to the area, and then how you should actually consider looking for housing. I'm a Utah realtor, as I mentioned. I love helping people buy, sell, and invest in real estate here in Utah. So if you're considering that after having watched these videos, please reach out to me. My information is here on the screen. You can call, text, or email anytime. I've helped hundreds of people move here to the state of Utah and would love to help you as well. So with that said, let's jump into our starting point. So the first thing that you might want to do, which you probably already are considering you're watching this video, is start doing some initial research online. You can use Google or you can use YouTube, which you have done right here, to get some information about the area. You're going to want to get information on what it's like to live there, what are the pros and cons, what is the weather like, what is the summer and winter like, what's it like to live there as far as what do the neighborhoods look like, what type of housing can you get, are there trees, is it a desert, is it by the ocean, right? Obviously it's not by the ocean, but those are the types of things that you're going to want to research and find out. Luckily for you, I've made videos on numerous different topics. I've got hundreds of videos here on the channel. I'm going to link some of them in the description box down below so that after you finish this video, you can go and watch those other ones to get more information about the area. You're going to want to know, like I said, about the pros and cons, what it's like to live here in the winter and driving in the winter, especially if you're from an area that doesn't get snow or is not doesn't get cold weather. You're going to want to know where to move and you're going to want to know what areas to consider and why you should maybe consider moving or not moving to a particular area. In addition to that, you'll want to watch my video on what nobody will tell you about living here in Utah, and you'll probably also want to check out my video on what it's like to live here as a non-Mormon. Now that I've done a little bit of research on the area, it's time to really consider what type of lifestyle you have and what type of lifestyle you're looking for. You want to figure out why you're actually making the move, what's important to you in this move. Is it the ease of use? Is it getting your dream home? Is it ending up in the right location? What is it that you're actually looking for? And you also want to consider, are you moving for a job, family, lifestyle? What is it? And as you do that, you'll want to consider what you actually want in an area, right? Are you looking for an area that has a certain type of demographic or maybe a certain type of lifestyle or a certain type of amenities? What is it exactly? And then also consider that with the home as well. What type of home do you want? How big is it? How many square feet? How many bedrooms? What type of features does it have? Does it have a view? Does it have a swimming pool? What does it have exactly in a home? What does that actually look like for you? Figure out what the negotiable items are and the non-negotiable items. If you say, hey, absolutely, we must have a home that has four bedrooms and is under $1 million, okay, then there you have a starting point. If you've got some flexibility, if you say, man, I really want a gas range, but I don't have to have it, or I really want a three car garage, but don't have to have it, then those are some non-negotiable items that you can kind of be flexible on as you go through that process. Now, after you've done this, it's time to continue your research, continue finding information online about these different areas and find out uh, what you can on the internet as well as through watching videos. Hopefully you'll watch some of my future videos. I've got hundreds of them here on the channel talking about all different topics about what it's like to live here in Utah. As a general starting point, I'd probably recommend starting with the video of where to live in Utah if you're moving here for the first time. That video will also be linked down below. So make sure to watch that after finishing this video here. As you watch that video, I just wanna give you some general basic tips about the area so you can get a head start on your search and your research of the different areas. So talking about downtown Salt Lake, just like any other major city, if you look at it politically, it's gonna lean a little bit more liberal. It's also gonna be the hip young place to live. Salt Lake City is quickly becoming an area that people actually want to live rather than just work. Even though it is the headquarters of the Mormon church, the Mormon population in the downtown area is actually quite small. It's probably only about 20 to 25% of the overall population. So the city has changed drastically. For some of you, that might be a pro, it might be a con, right? It's gonna be the most diverse area, but it may not fit the bill of what you're actually looking for. Most people that I help move here do not end up moving to the downtown. We've only had a few actually who moved to the downtown area. Most of them are gonna consider going a little bit further south to Sugar House or going north or south of the city from there. Let's talk about some of those areas right now. If you go north or south of Salt Lake City, either up into Davis and Weber County or south to the south end of Salt Lake County, which is also the Salt Lake Valley, or down into Utah County, it quickly changes to more of a conservative atmosphere and also gets a little bit more family friendly. You're going to find more families, more young professionals, working professionals in these areas. If we go north of the city, you're going to find that it's a little bit more blue collar. There's lots of warehouse and manufacturing jobs. You've got a military air force base, so there's lots of military in the area, and it's a great area. It's a little 
little bit quieter. It's a little bit cheaper to live, especially if you go into Ogden. You just have to really make sure to consider where you're actually living and make sure it's a good fit for you. If we move south of Salt Lake City, again, into the southern end of Salt Lake County, which would be like South Jordan, Sandy, Draper, Bluffdale, any of these cities on the south end, you quickly get more family friendly. You'll find that it's more of a white collar industry, especially going into Utah County even, which is like Lehigh, Saratoga Springs, and down into Provo Orem area. You're gonna find that it's more white collar. There's more tech, business, and healthcare jobs in this area. You're gonna find doctors, accountants, business owners, lawyers, people like that here in the southern end of the county. Now that's not to say that you won't find those people in other areas as well. It just seems that it trends a little bit heavier in that direction as you move south of the city. Typically, it also gets a little bit more expensive as you move south. However, it doesn't have to, right? You can still find some, you know, quote unquote, affordable housing in the area, just depending on what type of home you're looking for. And lastly, if you wanna be able to get into the mountains, either for hiking, skiing, mountain biking, anything like that, generally speaking, you wanna live further east as much as possible. This pertains to all of the counties, whether you're up north, whether you're in Salt Lake, or whether you're down in Utah County, staying further east for access to the mountains is generally the better idea. So if you need some recommendations, I know I just blasted through that. You'll probably wanna rewind and watch that last minute or so uh, once more to get just a general overview of the different areas. Um, but if you need some recommendations, please reach out to me, send me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call, and let's talk about your situation and what you're looking for. And I can at least give you some recommendations. Even if it's only you know a quick message exchange or something like that, I can at least get you started on the right path for what you're looking for. Now, once you have an idea of the few cities that you might consider, you've probably already gone through that step of saying, okay, here's what we're looking for, here's what we want, and here's what we don't want. And you have a few cities in mind. At this point, you're gonna wanna continue to do your research. You're gonna wanna look up specific information about those areas, find out what the crime rates are, what the demographics are, what the job opportunities are, who lives in that area, right? Is it single people or is it gonna be families or is it maybe retirees? Who's living in that area? And you wanna to continue to go down that rabbit hole of just doing research on each of those individual suburbs. Just like with any city or metro area, if you live in one part of the city, the experience and lifestyle that you have is going to be drastically different than if you live just 20 or 30 minutes away. Now that you've gone even further down the rabbit hole, hopefully you have a couple of areas in mind that you might consider living. You'll want to check to make sure that you can actually find housing that fits what you're looking for, either by price range or the type of home that you want. And after you've done that, you've figured out what the demographics are, what the crime reports say, what the schools are like in those areas. Then it's actually time to call me and let's connect and have a good 15 to 30 minute phone call about your situation, about what makes the most sense for you. This is where we can talk about your situation, your plan, and what type of home you should actually consider and what makes the most sense for you and your family's financial bottom line from a financial standpoint, but then also from a lifestyle standpoint. I wanna make sure that you end up in the right area. I would say that probably 98% of the time when I help somebody move here to the area, they land in an area that is perfect for them based on what they are looking for because of that phone call that we initially had. So make sure to reach out to me. Let's have that phone call and actually talk about your situation. The next step, depending on your timeline, maybe you're ready to start shopping for homes right then, or maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer before you're actually ready to make the move. If you're ready to make offers at that point and you're saying, okay, we're gonna be moving in the next one to three months, now's the time to actually make offers on a particular home and put a home under contract so you can move into it in that short of a time frame. As we do that, we'll be handling that process in person here. It takes roughly 30 to 45 days to close on a home here in Utah, maybe even a little bit quicker, just depending on the situation, but planning on 30 days is a good rough estimate. That gives you enough time to return home, button up some loose ends in your home city, and be able to make the move here and have a new start at a new lifestyle. Now, after we've had a discussion either via email or hopefully by the phone, now you wanna consider making a trip out here to the area. You probably wanna come out here for at least two, three, maybe even four days. I would say that three or four days Days is going to be the ideal amount of time to come out here to Utah and actually explore around. Now, while you're here exploring, you want to explore with the idea of potentially living here. You want to do things that you would do as a local, right? Maybe drive to where your office building will be if you already have a job, drive to the grocery store, drive to the local park, maybe drive up to the canyons if you're a big skier or snowboarder. You want to drive to those areas and see what that drive is actually like on a Tuesday afternoon, right? Get an idea of what it's like to live there, what the type of people are that you're going to run into, and just kind of the overall vibe of each individual area. During that trip you should already have a couple of cities that in mind that you're considering and you want to start looking at some houses if you come out to the area for your first initial trip I recommend that we meet up at the very beginning and actually take a look at a couple of houses so you can get an idea of what type of house you get in that area for that price range we may go look at an $800,000 home in Draper and it may be spot-on with what you're looking for 
or perhaps we get there and you say, hey, I thought I might actually like Draper. I thought I might like this type of home. However, things have changed and I don't really like this, right? In order to get what I want, I want a different style of home. I'm gonna have to go up in price. I'm gonna have to move areas, right? So we can kind of make those adjustments as we go. I can give you guidance and help along the way and say, based on what you're looking for, you will or will not find that here in this particular area. That way you can adjust your trip right away and make sure that it's an effective trip and that you're searching in the right area for the type of home and lifestyle that you actually want. Now, after you've done all the research, you've probably come out here for a trip or two. Now it's time to actually purchase a home. At this point, you can do that here in person. If you've got the opportunity to come out for another trip, we can go and do the house shopping together, or I can handle it for you remotely. I do a lot of showings and sell a lot of houses to people who never see the home. I'd actually say that probably 40 to 50% of the people that I work with never see the home in person. It just happens through a video tour that I do for you. I'll go out to the property. I take a video tour. It might be 10 to 15 minutes long, showing you the ins and outs of the floor plan, what it looks like, roughly how big the rooms are, if there's any damage or issues with the home, I'll point that out as well and just give you a fair, honest, transparent view and assessment of the house while I'm there. Once we've gone through that process of making an offer, your home is now under contract and you're on your way to closing and becoming a homeowner here in the beautiful state of Utah. With that said, that wraps up our video. Thank you so much for watching. Please reach out to me if I can be of help in any way. You can call, text, or email me anytime. I wanna be your trusted real estate resource of choice here in Utah. And I would love to give you an assessment on your individual situation and see how we can help you make that future move. As always guys, before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel right here and watch the next video right here.